We're going to start out with our game of the week. Isaac, why don't you tell the folks what our game of the week is? Folks, our game of the week is one that I'm super excited about because LSU plays Nickel State, and that's just mid. Uh, number three ranked Texas playing in the big house in Ann Arbor against 10th ranked Michigan at 12 p.m. This is our first top 10 matchup of the year, which is uh, kind of weird to think, you know, because usually we don't get that. Uh, but yeah, first top 10 matchup of the year, both teams coming off a playoff berth, obviously Michigan coming off the national championship win. Uh, Harbaugh is, is obviously not there. He is no more, and hopefully the sign stealing is as well. Uh, he's replaced by former Michigan OC Sharon Moore. Uh, Ann Arbor, it's always a tough place to play. Just ask Ohio State and Ryan Day. Uh, but it seems like, uh, especially after last week, uh, Texas definitely has the edge with talent, especially at the quarterback position, uh, having Quinn Ewers. Uh, had had a little bit of quarterback trouble against Fresno State, Michigan did last week, so uh, it should be interesting. The ESPN FPI is Texas 74%. Our TBD model has Texas by one, and the spread is Texas by seven and a half. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, Texas is going to win this game, uh, no doubt in my mind. Quinn Ewers uh, is going to come in there and throw all over them. Their wide receiver room is really good, and their running backs can freaking run you over. So uh, I, I think that Michigan's going to struggle. I think it is a home, so that definitely gives them an advantage. Uh, but give me, give me Texas. But I'm not going to. I'm going to. I'm going to pick Michigan to cover the spread. Yeah, Mace, I I wholeheartedly agree with you. I think quarterback play, it's unmatched uh i think texas wins in that department uh rushing wise as well uh they have a deep running back room and you know receivers we thought there was going to be an issue re- replacing the receivers they lost um in the off season nope they got plenty in their in their in their room meanwhile michigan i mean going into the season we were like oh donovan edwards finally has his chance no, Mullings is the number one running back, and we don't know who really is going to be quarterback. I got Texas in this. I don't know if it's going to be close. I'm actually going to take the over in the spread, um, but um, yeah, Texas. Man, I got to say this. I'm excited about this one. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. We got a triple pick, a TBD triple pick. I've got Texas. I, I don't think there's any way. Listen, Texas has something to prove. They're in the SEC now. They have got... Obviously, a chip on their shoulder. Michigan's the defending champs. Whole new roster, whole new coaching staff. I get it. I respect it. It's in Ann Arbor. I do not care. I like Texas. I like them to cover. Honestly, I got the Longhorns by 10. You won't hear me say this often, but horns up. I like Texas this weekend. Quinn Ewers, wide receiver room, Sarkeesian. Yeah, it's happening. Number three, Texas. Michigan's going down. 